Okay guys, in this video I will talk about how to compare or how to correlate two different type of foundation. First one is your isolated footing and of course second one is a base plate, okay, under any steel column. Okay, so if you are new to this channel, please do subscribe and also press the bell icon so that in future you can be benefited. Okay, so at the very first, why any isolated footing like this one is placed under any column, okay, which have some load. So the basic thing, let's say we have a column on ground level. This is the ground level. We have simply rested our concrete column on this ground level. Okay. Now let's say we have a load. Okay. What will happen? Simply if this ground is soft enough, in that case, the column will simply plunge into the ground like this. Okay. So to prevent this, what we have to do, we have to simply distribute this load. Okay. To this ground through a large area like this okay so this is the basic behind providing the isolated footing or any type of foundation especially the pad foundation underneath any column which have some load okay so you have got the idea why we normally use this pad or this slab like structure under any column known as isolated footing okay now let's look into any steel column okay just consider this steel propping this is a steel column okay it has some load a bit and we have placed some base plate here you can see this base plate okay now let's say without this base plate what will happen to this steel column simply if we rest this steel column uh above the ground and then we place the uh, load just like the previous cases what will happen simply it will plunge into the ground okay so what we have to do just like the isolated footing we have to provide a larger area okay so that this load can be distributed through a larger area to this ground that's it correct so you can say that isolated footing is the basic behind providing any base plate underneath any steel column okay and also not only that if you uh, compare the design aspect okay if you compare the design aspect of any isolated footing what you do you normally uh, what you do after applying the load there is a uh, reaction like this okay and if you take the moment due to this reaction at this section okay you will get some moment okay due to this reaction and based on that moment you design this slab correct so based on this load what will happen the column will be plunged into the soil and for that we are providing the slab and as a result there is a reaction okay and due to this reaction what will happen at this phase of this column there is a moment clear and based on that moment we design the thickness of this footing not only that we also design the number of reinforcement required here okay now let's look into the design aspect of a base plate okay so here is also you can see that we have some load okay not only that we have some moment also here and as a result of this external force what will happen of course we will have some reaction underneath the plate which is coming from the ground okay over which this base plate has been rested and due to this reaction what will happen at this phase again there will be some moment okay and based on this moment you have to design the thickness of this plate okay that's it. If you like this video, please don't forget to share it.